Good morning, folks. This is uh, now the morning routine. Has been since we got the calves. Uh, about 6, 6, 6.30 here. A little later start than we want. Um, but uh, we're out here getting ready to feed the calves, so. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, so Benny seems a little off this morning. Um, turn this around. So that one's Benny. Um, no, Benny's not in the picture. There's Benny. He's a little off this morning. He actually didn't finish his bottle, which is not a good sign. He uh, did poop a little bit, and his poop did look uh, runnier than usual, so he might be the next uh, next victim. And I'm just in here just looking for anything I need to clean up. And of course, and there's some, oh yeah, it looks like there's some right there. You can see that looks like scours right there. That's not, uh, that's not good. So we're going to have to find out. That one's a little bit better. That one looks like that one. Um, my guess is that's nebula. But yeah, that right there, that runny diarrhea, that scours. I need to figure out who that's from. The wife made an appearance on the video. So, we're just monitoring the uh, calves here. And uh, like kids, you can sort of tell their behavior is a little off. Something about them is off. The obvious, most obvious one right now is going to be Benny, little bull there, steer. Uh, normally he's jumping around. He's he's our little dog, um, and he's always kind of rubbing button up against your legs. You can see here that's the one my wife's petting. Uh, he is not doing that. He didn't finish his bottle of milk, and so that uh, to me is an indicator that he's starting to not feel well. So once again, just like kids, that's that's really how we started approaching this is thinking of them uh, like our kids and when they get sick and how we would handle it. And so um, I'm learning a lot, um, but if you guys once again have any suggestions on how to uh, deal with the, with this, um, any comments, suggestions would be appreciated. But it uh, looks like my suspicion was midnight, but she's, uh, she's eating. So we, we get some just hay sitting out um, for them and they do occasionally munch on the leaves and grass out here. Um, and to me, that's, once again, like kids, if they're, if they're active, they're eating, uh, that's usually a good sign. Um, but once again, Benny's a little off there, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. And uh, somebody is scouring though. We found some more scours in the, uh, in the pen there. So uh, gonna have to load up on some more electrolytes and try to get it early. Um, but I will tell you, once again, just like kids, it's a little stressful uh, watching them kind of go down. Um, with it being our first time, my first thought, once again, was always worst case scenario. Uh, I hate to admit it, but sometimes it's like that with the kids too. But um, yeah, we're going to do what we can. And these are our babies too, right? So. So I thought I'd share um what the regimen was that we gave nebula when she had scours and i'm going to do this so that it may uh, be helpful for others and also for those of you out there that know what you're doing to criticize me and let me know what i did right or what i didn't do right but uh Daddy, the first step bottle. was uh using Daddy, yeah yes the first step was uh um getting some packets of resorb now i went to uh, i ended up going to tractor supply and the local uh, co-op and both of the places uh first thing they they handed to me was resorb they said this is the go-to um so bought several packets of those i didn't uh, i was 
the, the back of the packet says to switch them over straight to the electrolytes, no milk for I think two days or their two feedings. Um, and then slow and then gradually mix the electrolytes in with the milk. Um, I was a little concerned about that because I was wondering, well, if they basically they're skipping milk for like two feedings or two days, or I forget what the packet said, but, um, I talked to, um, the guy at the co-op and he said he's, he's run bottle calves before he suggested to continue with the feedings as, as normal, um, and, ten, and, and try to get the electrolytes in between. And so since we were feeding them, uh, 12 hours apart, six in the morning, six at night, uh, that meant I was giving her, uh, I was giving Nebula electrolytes at about noon and at about midnight. And that was about the first uh, day and a half. So the first two bottles, uh, two quarts each of electrolytes, she took fine. Uh, after that, um, we needed to switch up to um, a little bit less of the electrolytes. And at that point, she no longer was taking uh, the bottle anymore. And so... And, and at that point, she was also starting to go down, meaning her head was getting down. She was showing all, all the physical indicators of just a, a cow that was clearly sick, just not as active, not, not showing any signs of eating any hay or grass or nibbling, not active, not giddy, not jumpy like they normally are after they eat. Uh, head down, her skin was starting to tent a little bit. No sunken eyes, though. Um, but uh, still clearly had scours. Um, so clearly she was getting dehydrated and that's the biggest concern from what I know. But at that point, that's when we got the tube feeder and made uh, several attempts to tube feeder. And I did that successfully uh, a few times, uh, getting the electrolytes in her. And um, that, uh, that was over the course of, I think, three days. Um, and that seemed to bring her back so i know it's not the most outline or no not the most uh organized way of telling you guys how i did it but wanted to share that's what i did uh no boluses no nothing the main reason is because i i don't know what the cause of uh the scours is um, my initial guess is that it was from the stress of transporting her here but the more i thought about it the more i'm wondering if uh, her cause of scours was maybe the lack of colostrum when she was born and and the the guy that I got him from uh, that was probably my mistake but I, I didn't get to ask him if they got their full colostrum the first uh, 24 48 hours so that was my guess just once again based on reading um, and watching videos online is that uh, sometimes if they get not enough or none at all of that colostrum I'm wondering if they don't get any colostrum if they even make it but uh, that was my initial guess, um, or sorry, my uh, my second guess with her um, was just a lack of colostrum. I don't see how, I suppose it could be something else, but uh, once again, all of you experts out there can probably chime in and let me know. Maybe it just happens, maybe it's just a stomach bug like, you know, like we get, um, but uh, now it's on a good old Benny here, and um, you know, if I don't know if it's contagious. Obviously, we don't want them. That's why I keep the place clean. I don't want them nibbling on any of their poop. Um, oh, she's peeing. Um, but now that he's got it, once again, it's like if, if it's anything like kids and it's contagious, then it's just a matter of time before they all get it. And I've prepared myself, at least mentally, even though it can be pretty exhausting physically, because you really are out here just constantly monitoring them. Um, but now I get it. Uh, I totally get it because out there, so our neighbor, he's got his, his cows running out, out there. And currently he's got three, three calves and they're all feeding off their mother. So no, not being bottle fed, but uh, he's always out here uh, on his uh, side by side, kind of keep an eye. And uh, now I get it. He's, he's still keeping an eye on them just like we are. Probably not as closely because they're not bottle fed, but uh, uh, but but I get it, you know, we're I'm out here Sorry about that video cut off on me um, but Yeah, I'm out here multiple times a day keeping an eye on them um, watching their behavior and uh, And that's how you kind of learn because once you See how they behave normally and you and then when you notice that they're off then you know something's off so it's once again that analogy with the kids it's just like raising your kids
That's the best way I can put it. But I'm going to stop talking. I'm done. And uh, it's time to go get breakfast ready for our kids, human kids, and then uh, start the day. So I'll probably be back out, be back out later. It's supposed to be a nice day, nice Sunday. Benny and Bernard are waiting to get back in. So thanks for watching, guys.